Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So in honor of St. Patrick's Day, I'm going to attempt to pour in a shamrock. I'm using a bunch of greens. Now, someone previously pointed out that it should be green and orange. I did hear your message. I am going to keep it greens though, just because that's what I would like to do. So I have like a lime green. This one is more of a grass green. And then I have a darker green, a forest green. And I think I'm going to throw a little bit of teal in here as well. And a wee bit of gold. And then I have one Arteza pre-mixed color that I'm also going to use. It says sea green, but it looks pretty blue to me. But I think it'll be a nice offset color here. I definitely don't want this to come out too blue. I want it to be really green. I just think these other colors may help accent it. All right, I'm going to circle back through these colors. Okay, I have my cup ready. I don't anticipate this being easy. I'm gonna do my best. So I am gonna take my time and yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll speed this part up. No judge, <laughs> just uh, it's gonna be fun. Either way, here we go. Okay, I did my best. I don't think it looks like a shamrock, uh, but we do have the cool lines there that are definitely different. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch this out. Seeing as the shape isn't particularly there anyways, I'm not going to really try to maintain it. It's kind of funny. I only put a tiny bit of that Arteza color in there, but it really kind of took over. But we definitely have those other greens in there really coming out. So I think we'll be good. So I don't think this looks like a shamrock at all, but I think this is a gorgeous piece. This is actually really pretty. That, um, just a note here, that Arteza color was definitely lighter or lighter, thinner than my other paints, which is something I normally check for, but I didn't really think about it this time. So that definitely affected it. You can see that kind of gave it this interesting kind of cloudy effect. And you can see also that some of the other colors are kind of pushing through a little bit. Anyways, I think this is really gorgeous. I'm gonna let this sit here for just a minute and then we'll come in for a close up. All right, starting on the lower right hand corner here. I love the pops of lime green through here. And look over here in this totally like cloudy area. I think it's beautiful. Little tiny bits of gold coming through. Definitely a really unique piece. Like I don't think I've made anything that looks like this before. Some fun cells coming up in the corner up here too. And a little bit up here. There you go. All right, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, I know I didn't really do a great shamrock. I tried my best. Have a fantastic day. And I will see you all next time. Happy St. Patrick's Day. In honor of said occasion, we are going to do a pretty green vase. <laughs> an acrylic pour on a base. So let's get started. Um, I am using an Arteza canvas. This is 11 by 14. I love their canvases because they're a little bit thicker and a little bit sturdier. So really great. I've got a lowly Vefe silicone bowl and I'm going to basically use various greens and blues and golds. So I'm starting with a little bit of white and that's Artist Loft Flow Acrylics. Little yellow or blue and yellow, also Artist Loft Flow Acrylics. All of my colors are mixed with Flow Troll and water. And obviously, blue and yellow together make green. I'm going to throw a little bit of gold in here, which the gold and the blue will also make green. And then I have a couple greens. This one is really a combination of a bunch of different paints. And then I have a darker green.
which is Artist Loft Deep Green. And then I'm going to throw a little bit of black in here so that we have some contrast, you guys. Not a lot. Okay. Now we're going to kind of cycle back through some of these. So hopefully this has enough green in it. I didn't do anything to prep the base other than clean it with some rubbing alcohol. I do have it sitting on a cup and that is so that I can move it once I'm done putting the paint on there. And how much paint I put in my bowl is I just concentrate on adding enough to cover the canvas and that also covers the vase at the same time. So I don't actually measure, I just do enough to cover the canvas. Okay, good. I've poured all the paint out. It's looking great. So at this stage, I just let it run down. It does seem to be a little off center. Let me try to fix that real quick. Okay. Um, at this stage, I just let the paint run down for a few minutes, usually about two minutes, and then it'll slow down and stop uh, dripping as much. And then we'll go ahead and do our canvas. So I'll speed this part up. All right, so this has largely slowed down. So I'm going to just gently pick it up by the cup. Do not worry too much if you touch the rim here because the paint will still continue moving. So even if you do touch it, it's really not going to matter. So I'm going to gently set this off to the side. It'll keep dripping. And then we're going to do our canvas here. I love doing vases on top of a canvas because it gives you patterns in the canvas that you would not get any other way. It always ends up with a bit of a, a bit of a peacock pattern, no matter what colors you're using, really. Of course, we are using kind of the peacock colors this time, so that does help. But yeah, it gives you just really cool pattern that you're not going to get with any other technique, really. Plus, it's a two-for-one project, and I love that. Especially if you're really into, you know, making your home decor all go together. Um, or it's just a really good gift for someone, too. Let's do a close-up on the canvas now, and then we'll see when the vase is dry. I'll come back, and we'll do a close-up on that. All right, here is our canvas. Nice and green with just the hints of some blue in there and a little bit of gold. I kind of wish more of the gold had come out um, than did, but you know, it happens. So there's our canvas. And then like I said, we'll come back when the vase is all dry and I'll show you guys that. Okay, we're back. It has been like crazy cold. So the vase is actually not fully dry yet, but it's mostly dry. You can see just on the bottom there, it's a little bit still wet. I am in love with how this came out. Look at that. Perfectly green and gold. Um, initially I was worried because it was coming out a little too blue. I think I have um, issues. Too much blue and everything. <laughs> I'm starting to maybe agree with some of you. Anyways. Um, also, I think I had some paint mixing issues because um, some of the paints didn't mix in fully, but I am really happy with how both came out. I think they're both great. The painting looks awesome. I will see you all next time. Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I went to the dollar store and got this um, shamrock. It was a necklace, but I took the necklace part off. It lights up and we're going to go ahead and pour over it just for funsies. We'll have it lit while we do that because why not? Um, I'm using an Arteza canvas and then I'm using the Arteza pouring acrylic colors. So these are the pre-mixed, ready to go. You don't have to do anything to them paints. I've got a lowly Vefe silicone bowl here, lowly Vefe mat, and we'll get started. So starting with some white. And then I have sea green, 
And then phthalo green. This one's a really pretty green. And then we have some neon green. Then this is forest green, although it's kind of a teal. And then we're going to add in some yellow. This one is mid yellow, it's what it's called. And then a little bit of phthalo blue. And a little bit of the black. This is Mars black. And that will give us some nice contrast. I am gonna now add in some more yellow. And I think a little more of the phthalo green and then a little more sea green. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour over this shamrock and it should give us a pretty cool pattern. At least that's what I'm going for. And I don't know if the paint will actually go in it or not. I was looking for something that was like foam <laughs> to pour over but I couldn't find anything so this is what we've got so see how it obviously goes around all the spots and that's kind of the point of it is to give it that really cool pattern which you wouldn't get by just pouring it normally go ahead and drain the bowl on that side and carefully pull this out And then just go ahead and get the excess paint off. I am digging this, especially since I don't, I honestly don't probably use enough greens. <laughs> so it's nice to have an occasion where I have a very good reason to use greens. Kind of wish I'd put a little more yellow in there even, and maybe even a little more of the neon green, but I'm definitely digging how this is coming out. So let's let this sit here for a little bit and then we'll come in for our close up. All right, we're back. Not much changing, um, but I just love this pattern in here. Totally got the shamrock pattern, which I am super happy about. So let's go ahead and do our close up. Starting on the lower right hand corner, you can see all the different greens in here. Look at that. So cool. Upper right hand corner. Over here to the upper left hand corner and down to the lower left hand corner. You can see that neon green popping through down here and overall. All right, guys, really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.